Apple, after years of fine print and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless services starting at just $15 a month, I thought, what's the catch? <laughs> but after speaking with them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. By cutting out the retail stores, there's no crazy overhead costs that get passed down to you in the form of mysterious fees. Instead, Mint just passes on the sweet, beautiful savings directly to you. Dan, tell me about your experience with Mint. Uh, I was on one of the big carriers. You know the ones. I won't say their names here, like Voldemort. But uh, I was paying nearly $100 a month. I was able to get a comparable plan from Mint for a fraction of the cost. And uh, the service is just as good. So right. it's a win-win-win. Okay, in this video, <clears throat> I just want to make uh, some clarification. Uh, as you can, as you just see, uh, saw it, I wanted to make sure it's not about to... Uh, to attack uh, Mint Mobile or, or uh, you know, I just want to make clarification so that people understand a little bit uh, uh, because when when uh, the Eton is, the, you know, they are they are promoting Mint Mobile and uh, and he says Mint Mobile is as good as uh, all the other carriers, so you. So you have to understand what is Mint Mobile because you have to understand that Mint, Mint Mobile is a smaller company. And uh, I'm going to explain to you a little bit. So there's Mint Mobile is, is something called MVNO. Okay. So a mobile virtual network operator is a wireless communication services uh, provider. But it's a wireless communication service provider that does not own wireless network infrastructure over which it provides services to its customers. So, so in this case, Mint doesn't have the infrastructure, okay? So they have to rely on a bigger company, okay? So the, the, the main biggest companies in, in the U.S. are, uh, there are only few of them, maybe maybe less, less than four, four. The biggest one is wireless, uh, Verizon Wireless, AT&T, uh, T-Mobile, okay? So these companies, they own the infrastructure, they, they own the network. So anybody else is just using their network. So in the case of Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile is using T-Mobile's network, okay? And uh, they don't have the infrastructure, they don't have the, uh, the towers, to, you know, to make sure there is a communication. So there is not, it's not a telecommunication company. So you have to understand that. So they are kind of, uh, they take it from wholesale from the biggest company and uh, sell it at retail. And uh, in this case, I don't think, I don't, if you argue that uh, it is the same service as the T-Mobile, the uh, it doesn't make sense from T-Mobile's perspective. I don't think it's the same. Uh, is the same uh, uh, services. It's completely different. Okay, it's like uh, using a, a five-star uh, hotel and a two-star hotel. So they are not they are not the same. So, I mean, I'm not saying there's no value to it. There is a value to it. It's cheaper in the sense that you'll be able to use in a localized, uh, in a specific region where, in some places, uh, you know, the communication is is good. But I, have, but I doubt that the communication is consistent throughout the U.S., okay? So, because otherwise it would be competing against uh, T-Mobile. So the T-Mobile, they, they, they will not let smaller company you know, take their uh, customers. So I do not think the service is as good as T-Mobile. It's not, it's not the same, given the fact that to make mobile is using T-Mobile's network, so they don't have infrastructure. I think this this can apply in in in, in, a, in other in other uh, in other domains 
where you don't have the, the I mean, if you take a specific uh, company, you don't actually make the products, but you take it from somewhere else, from wholesale, and you sell it. So it is kind of a different, uh, different dynamic. So, so I just want to make cl clarify that yes, although Mint Mobile is very cheap, but as far as as far as the quality of the service, the the consistency of the uh, communication, I do not think the uh, the equal T-Mobile. Uh, for the simple reason they they rely on T-Mobile network for 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 their operation, so this is something that I would like to put out uh, so that people can understand. Thank you.